Nani village of Jare Gewok is one of the remotest villages of Lunsi. The population is made up of farmers who depend on agricultural produce. Ever since the villagers remember, Nani has had problems with water. Animals regularly contaminated the water source and pipelines to channel water to the agricultural fields were rudimentary and highly ineffective. As a result, many lands were left uncultivated the villagers had to live with the consequences of contaminated, scarce water. Among others, no showers, waterborne diseases, and small production of vegetables. In the past, due to water scarcity, farmers from Jerry Gawok were mainly growing corn. Today, the times of water scarcity are over. Clean water and irrigation have brought life to Nani thanks to a grant, better known as the Capacity Development Grant, provided by the Joint Support Program through the Department of Local Governance. <laughs> is now able to grow vegetables and thanks to the farm roads she has also started selling them in markets <laughs> In 2011, the Joint Support Program carried out trainings on sustainable development and provided local officials with tools to identify causes of environmental degradation, poverty, and climate change impacts, and to design long-term solutions. The training stressed the importance of sustainably managing natural resources such as water or timber, and provided practical recommendations on watershed management and organic farming techniques. After discussions in the Giwag Assembly, the community decided to tackle the water and land management problem as a follow-up to the training, a grant was given to Nani to install an irrigation system, bring water to households, and fence the water source to prevent contamination from animals. Chiring Pincho is the Sopa, the elected people's representative of Nani. He proudly shows the new irrigation systems, how it has allowed reviving fallow land and channel water to vegetable gardens. The main crop in Nani was corn. Today, the community sees a thriving kitchen garden in every home with a variety of vegetables. Ani 
The joint support program trainings, coupled with the Capacity Development Grant, have demonstrated that empowering communities and local governments to identify causes of environmental degradation and poverty and to design solutions can lead to fantastic results. Today, Nani has improved its sanitation, agricultural produce, and has clean drinking water. The village has recently been connected through grid electricity and will soon be connected by a farm road that will bring new economic opportunities for its people. Today, several villages in Bhutan are part of the Joint Support Program initiative to train local governments on sustainable development and to provide them grants to complement their financial resources to meet community-level needs.